So today's word Anne is teaching me is cold. Now. 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 Cold. Cold. Now. Hot. 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 Wrong. Hot. Wrong. Hot. Wrong. Hot. Wrong. Wrong. Hot. Hot. Wrong. Wrong. Cold. Now. Got it. <laughs> 20 seconds in Thailand, Thailand Rob. The beach is kind of deserted. This morning was one of the mornings I had decided to dedicate to sleeping in. Because ever since I've been back here, I've been getting up at 6 in the morning, which is good, but well, that's nice. It's good, but I wanted to sleep in. It, of course, it's today I get 17 different messages on the phone. And then Jerry's down here. He says he's down here at the Smile Restaurant. I gotta find this place. I haven't been to the, the Smile Restaurant. So, I'm feeling this the other way. I totally got this wrong. Been walking half the beach now. I could have parked at the other end. Smile, smile smile I don't know all right I think I found him he's the bald guy in the red shirt I walked I parked on the wrong side of the beach I parked by the police station hey guys <laughs> Jerry would you say you, you do post-production for movies or yeah, TV movies shows both. I gotta go we got business to talk got my coffee even though it's hot and in the afternoon and I say half full but that's the way they're supposed to serve it here but I just yeah not very manly <laughs> Wait, let's see your tattoo there. That's pretty hot. Is that her? No. <laughs> oh, never mind. Sorry. And I had to get my Coca Cola Nun Quat, which means one bottle, but it wasn't a bottle. How do you say can? How do you say can in Thai? Kapong. Kapong. Pong. Pong. Kapong. Kapong. Coca Cola Kapong? Yeah, Nun Kapong. Coca Cola Nun Kapong. Kapong. Another Thai lesson, folks. Mm. But you you know what it means. I mean, it doesn't, you can't rent. You can rent the surf or you can rent a surf board. I think there was supposed to be a board. Jerry, he bought me contraband from the United States. TSA actually went through it, but they let him bring it in anyway. You can't have this. That's right. <laughs> thanks, buddy. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Okay, what I want to talk about today is speaking Thai or speaking broken Thai or speaking broken English because I get a lot of comments on Rob, why do you speak broken Thai? It sounds like you're speaking down to Thai people. And I've thought about this many times of why I do it, but if you really pay attention to my videos, I don't always speak broken Thai. I sp Sometimes I'll speak completely fluent English. You have to pay attention to who I'm speaking to because in Thailand, like if I speak to Fawn, look at Fawn. Fawn, you look sexy today. Yeah. I can speak to her and say almost any word and she will be able to comprehend it. Now, if I'm speaking with Anne. Now. Now. Cold. Cold. Anne speaks hardly zero, I mean, almost no English whatsoever. As a matter of fact, that's why we are practicing in some of these videos you see us practicing together. Yeah, if I speak to Nit. Hi, Nit. Nit speaks very good English, but I'd say at a 60-70% level. So I still sometimes have to explain what I'm saying. In Thailand, if they don't under if someone doesn't understand, a lot of times all you get is one of these. Hmm, hmm. And then they didn't understand it, so then the, the sentence, the conversation goes dead and then you have to redo it. That's kind of like the same as being in the South with a good old boy. And him not understand him going, yep, 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 I understand, no, I got me too, mm-hmm, me too. All right, he didn't understand, I didn't understand, that's what I mean. When I'm making a video, depending on who I'm speaking with, I speak the way they speak. If they speak broken Thai or broken English, I speak broken English or broken Thai. If they speak fluent English, then I'll speak to them like I'm talking to you right now. So when I speak to Fawn or Boom or someone who speaks very fluent English, I speak very fluent English. If I speak to someone who speaks in broken English, I speak back in broken English because it makes the conversation go very quickly and very well. There's plenty of times that even people who speak fluent English will still say, 
Not have, not have. And just, that's the sentence, not have. Do you have, um, do you have your cell phone with you? Not have. I mean, it's common to say it that way over here. So when you see me speaking with Joy. I had to stop in and see Joy. See what she's making, what is it? Joy speaks very good English, but it's broken in sentences, and so I'll cut my sentences shorter, just like she will. And if I'm speaking to someone who speaks hardly zero, no English at all, there's a lot of symbols, hand movements, like, uh, and just one word that I can come out with in Thai. So that is why you see me speaking either English or broken English, or like you said, just broken Thai, or whatever I'm doing. There. You, you don't, don't know. You don't know. You don't know. And if any part of this video made you smile, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All about the smiles, man. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? <laughs>